Hello everyone, Remco from Herzegveld. I'm here to tell you about the long-awaited upgrade package for the ultimate pedals, including the smart control uh, controller. Now, there is a lot here, there's a lot to talk about, so I'll, I'll move through it uh, quite quickly. Uh, the new bushings. Very proud of these. They are a new compound to replace the old white and uh, green ones. These are all black, but there are hard ones and soft ones. You can identify them by the markings on the top. This is a hard one and this is a soft one. It also includes um, the length of the bushing on them, so you can identify them easily. The outer diameter is a lot bigger and the inner diameter is smaller. So both of them together means a lot more material to push against. That also means that you need a new rod end to slide them over because of the uh, decreased inner radius. That comes pre-assembled. You can just slide it in uh, to the pedal after removing the old one and you can uh, discard that one if you want. This is a nifty one, maybe familiar from, to those of you who have the sprint pedals. Uh, this is for centering the spring. Now the most important part of this upgrade kit is of course the new uh, controller. It is the Ultimate Plus controller, you will get it in the upgrade kit because you're going to need it to talk to the Smart Control software. Finally there is Smart Control software for the Ultimates. The Ultimate Plus uh, are going to be uh, delivered pre-calibrated. Uh, if you're upgrading with this kit you're going to have to upgrade yourself, but it's uh, a couple of steps in the uh, Smart Control software. Now there is a note here, you have to follow the inscription on the box clutch, a brake and a throttle. If you do uh, hook them up accordingly, it will make the calibration process a lot easier for you. Noteworthy as well is that it is now a full metal housing. It's a lot stronger and uh, of course EMI resistant a lot better than uh, the old one we had before. So onto the installation. I've got some tips for you which will be uh, uh, critical if you want to uh, install them without any hassle. My advice is to do the brake last because you're going to use this rod end as a tool. Um, I've got an old throttle pedal here. You can tell by the, the uh, old version bushings here. And the rod end here, which is kind of rounded, whereas the new ones are perfectly square. So this is identified as an older version uh, throttle pedal. The first thing you want to do is remove all of the preload from the spring. You're going to be working against the spring uh, and of course that's going to be harder if the preload is still there. So take off all the preload and then release the uh, bolts on either side. Now push it, pull it back and push it out like this and then you can, you can just remove the whole rod end including the spring. Keep a hold of that, you're going to need it later. Same goes for the plastic rings. Two of these will be used again. Now this is the axle that you probably want to replace while you're at it. Uh, they can wear out a bit if you have the older version pedal without uh, the bearings. This is one of those pedals. To remove the rod and head, like I said, you're going to use the new brake rod as a tool. You can just insert it and hold it in place while you loosen the locking nut that locks the throttle rod end in place. Remove it like this. This is going to be reused. This is done for now. Take the new one, screw it back in, just finger tight, you don't have to over tighten. Use the brake rod end again as a tool, tighten the locking nut and you're good to go. 
spring goes back in, as is the new axle. And the black rings, you're going to want to reuse the thicker ones. There are thinner ones and thicker ones. You're going to use the thicker ones again. Now included in the upgrade kit is also a one millimeter ring. You're going to use that and another one millimeter dish shaped ring. That's going to provide some spring tension to keep the roll end in place, but still able to move freely. Now the whole assembly goes back in. Just slide in the rod end. Push it into place. Now here comes the hard part. You're going to have to use your thumb to align the axle with the slot. So you can screw the bolts back in. If they don't, if they don't go in smoothly, you're not aligned perfectly and you have to be, otherwise you might damage the uh, thread on the bolts. So be precise here. Both go back in. And then add preload as you desire. Like that. Always remember to tighten this lock nut as well, so the preload will not shift in future. There you are. This throttle pedal has now been upgraded to uh, Ultimate Plus specification. So, onto the brake pedal. In my opinion, the most important pedal in the set. This is going to be a major upgrade for this pedal with the new progressive bushings. You're gonna love them, I swear. Again, remove all of the preload. It won't be much but you want, to be, want the stack to be as loose as possible. Now, another trick. If the rod end doesn't quite budge, you can loosen these and these to help, to help a little bit. This one is kind of stuck, so I'm going to release this bolt just a little. This one as well, don't have to take it out. And then the rod, I, rod end slides out with ease. Just don't, don't forget to retighten them when you're done. So let's install the new rod end. Take one of the new axles, it slides right in. You're going to need one dish shaped washer and one straight millimeter, one millimeter washer. Slide it right into the pedal arm and align the axle perfectly with the hole in the pedal arm so as not to damage the thread on the bolt when you screw it in. There we are. Now let's build up the stack. It is quite similar to the uh, Sprint stack. I like to use 19 up top. Always use a washer between the rubbers. I like a 28 soft in between. Another washer. A 37 soft on the bottom, another washer. Now, let's reuse this uh, spring and the new spacer to keep the spring from bottoming out and uh, damaging itself. The spring centering washer goes in as well as the new back plate. Clicks right into place as you're used to seeing. We're gonna add some preload again. And there we are. Now you might recall that we loosened these to get the rod end out. So we're going to lock them again, tighten them firmly, and don't forget to tighten this one as well. It locks the preload in place. Here is an updated brake pedal, Ultimate Plus specification. Have fun with these. <laughs>